Good morning. And greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional, nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 831-844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, truth skin health products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, or of course, if you have a success story, we love hearing success stories. If you just want to contribute to the conversation, come be part of the bright side program. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can purchase products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off of criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and make money, make a little bit of money, make a lot of money, quit your day job, enjoy the tax benefits associated with having your own business, make your own hours. If you're entrepreneurially minded, if you're a business person, you want to have a little residual income, Call 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. 866-735-2470. Or you can sign up right off the websites. Brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with acne blemishes or you want to prevent the formation of blemishes or accelerated aging, that's one of the neat things about retinol is it's effective for anti-aging. It helps stimulate collagen production and smooth and soften the skin and eliminate wrinkles, reduce wrinkles, or eliminate them even. And it also is great for acne. I remember when I was a uh, young pharmacist and Retin-A was big. Retin-A is the uh, active form of retinol. It requires a prescription. Moms would come in and get their medication for their kids, and then pretty soon, a couple weeks later, a month later, or two months later, moms would come in by themselves just getting the Retin-A for their wrinkles because they were discovering that when they applied the Retin-A on their, uh, the Retin-A that was being prescribed for their kids' blemishes, their wrinkles were disappearing. That's one of the neat things about vitamin A is it's good for acne and it's good for wrinkles. You need to have it in its retinol form or retinoic acid form. You can get retinoic acid from... Uh, from your dermatologist, it requires a prescription, but you can get the same power in retinol at 5% concentration. You need to have a 5% concentration. You're not going to find that in very many places, but you will find it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends your common sense nutritional program. We all know we're supposed to eat our vegetables. We've been talking about vegetables 
vegetable active ingredients for the last few weeks now. We all know we're supposed to eat our vegetables. Most of us have heard this advice since we were little kids. It's pretty much standard dogma we get from everyone, from our moms and grandmoms and parents to the government, to doctors, to dietitians, whether mainstream or alternative. Everyone agrees that veggies are good for us. But why exactly is that so? What is it about veggies that makes them so important that we're supposed to eat four or five servings every day? You might say, oh, well, they're loaded with vitamins, minerals, and essential nutrients, and absolutely, that's the case. Um, the essential nutrients, the Mighty 90 essential nutrients are found abundantly in vegetables. They're wonderful sources of vitamins and minerals, and sometimes fatty acids and sometimes amino acids, but we can get these things from lots of sources. We can get them from eggs, we can get them from dairy, we can get them from meat. We can get it from supplements. We don't need to be eating vegetables to get vitamins and minerals and essential nutrients. So what is the big deal about vegetables? It's the phytonutrients. Phyto meaning plant. It's the plant nutrients. These are substances that are made by plants to protect themselves from the environment, and they're only found in tiny, tiny quantities really infinitesimal quantities. We didn't even know these things existed until maybe 40 or 50 years ago. They were found in such tiny, tiny quantities. Fruits contain these substances, and aside from the high amounts of sugar that are found in modern fruit, apples, pears, bananas, grapes, strawberries. Bananas, by the way, are the world's most popular fruit. Aside from the high amounts of sugar, fruits can definitely be nutritionally valuable and healthy foods. The problem is, Modern fruits are bred, genetically modified, to have lots of sugar, and this kind of diminishes a little bit of the value that you get from fruit. They're still valuable because they still have the phytonutrients, but vegetables don't have the sugar. That's, the, that's what's beautiful about vegetables is you get the powerful medicine, you get the phytonutrients without exposing yourself to the high amounts of sugar. Now, I'm not saying the fruits are bad. I'm not saying that you have to eliminate fruits. I'm just saying you've got to respect the fruit. Vegetables you can eat as much as you want. You don't have to worry about the veggies, with some exceptions for, for allergies that some people may have or intolerances that some people may have. There are many thousands of these nutrients, these phytonutrients, maybe 10,000 or more of these phytonutrients. And because the human body cannot make most of these things, pretty much all of these things, and because of their stupendous importance and stupendous relevance that they have to human health, in my opinion, it could very well be that these phytonutrients are essential in the same way that vitamins and minerals and amino acids and, and fatty acids that make up what we call the Mighty 90 essential nutrients are essential. Essential means you must have it. That's what the word essential means, like air. Air is essential. We all know air is essential. But there are nutrients that are essential in the same way. There are essential fatty acids that are just as essential as air. You've got to have these essential fatty acids or disease will result in ultimately death. There are amino acids that are just as essential as air. You've got to have these amino acids or, or disease will ensue and ultimately death. There are vitamins and minerals that are essential. In fact, all the vitamins and minerals are essential. You got to have them. They're like air. Without them, you'll go into disease states and then ultimately you'll go into death. So we know that the vitamins and minerals and, and amino acids and, and fatty acids that we call the Mighty 90 are essential. We recognize them as essential. But it could very well be that our lack of health is just as much a collective lack of health in the United States and maybe around the world in the industrialized countries. It could very well be that it's a result of essential deficiencies, not in vitamins and minerals and, and fatty acids and amino acids that we consider to be essential, but in phytonutrients that are essential. We don't recognize them as having the same essentiality as vitamins and minerals and amino acids and, and fatty acids, but they are. And interestingly, we can alleviate a lot of deficiency states, a lot of illness states. There's a lot of literature that talks about this by using these phytonutrients. It could very well be, in my opinion, that these are just as essential as, uh, as uh, vitamins and minerals and, and amino acids and fatty acids. And even more in a way, because you can get your vitamins and minerals and fatty acids and amino acids, these essential nutrients from supplements, but you can't get them from, you, you can't supplement with phytonutrients. There's no phytonutrient supplements. Uh, to a certain extent there is, but not in, you're not gonna get the, the amount of phytonutrients that you can in a phytonutrient supplement. It's very difficult to find these things. That's because there are so many of them. There are so many different phytonutrients, it's impossible to put them all into a pill or a powder. And because they're so complex chemically, the structures are so complex, they can't be synthesized. 
All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll continue when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages of brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. We have search engines at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com as well. And, of course, you can purchase products, longevity products from brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We also blog and have news stories at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com and check out uh, brightsidehealth.com if you're interested in looking at our Pure Hemp Technologies CBD product or enzyme products or our vegan powder, vegan protein powder. They're up at uh, brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. Okay, we got uh, no calls on the line, so if you've tried to get on board and got a busy signal in the past, now's the time to give us a shout at 844-236-6010, If you have questions about the longevity products, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking phytonutrients, plant nutrients. While we all know that the vitamins and the minerals and the amino acids and the uh, fatty acids can be essential, sometimes we don't recognize that phytonutrients have an essentiality that may equal the essential nature of these uh, so-called mighty 90 essential nutrients. And interestingly, while we can alleviate a lot of deficiencies and health challenges that are linked to deficiencies in vitamin C and vitamin A and the B complex and selenium and zinc and essential amino acids and your EFAs by using supplements, dealing with deficiencies in these pseudo-essential, I think they're essential, phytonutrients is not quite as simple because there are so many phytonutrients, thousands and thousands and thousands of these things, and they're so complex and complicated. If you look at the chemical structure of them, they are unbelievably complicated. They can't really be synthesized. The only real effective way to get these phytonutrients, pseudo-essential phytonutrients, is to make sure you're following your mom's advice and eat your veggies, and sometimes fruits, small amounts of fruits. Now, we've been talking about the major class of phytonutrients for the last uh, two or three weeks, the so-called polyphenols. When you hear about a particular phytonutrient like resveratrol or bioflavonoids or curcumin, found in turmeric. We're going to talk about curcumin here pretty soon. I absolutely love that stuff. Or maybe quercetin, which is found in uh, the cell shield product from longevity. When you hear about a, a famous po- uh, phytonutrient, pretty much the odds are pretty good you're hearing about a polyphenol. Now, there are other non-polyphenol phytonutrients that are important. Beta carotene comes to mind, lycopene. You may have heard of that. That's the stuff that's in tomatoes and watermelon that's so good for your uh, so good for your prostate. Fiber, of course, is a non-polyphenol phytonutrient. But because of their diversity and their abundance, a case could be very, uh, a good case could be made that the polyphenols are the most important of all the phytonutrients. The polyphenols are all similar to estrogen. This is how we got into talking about the polyphenols. We were talking about estrogen, and we were talking about estrogen because we were talking about connective tissue. And make no mistake about it, the polyphenols are related to estrogen, or at least they're similar to estrogen, I should say. They're also important for the connective tissue. Now, the polyphenols, the relationship the polyphenols have to estrogen makes them just alone, just that alone makes them incredibly important and valuable, considering the part that estrogen plays in stresses and autoimmune disease and PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome and uh, menopausal symptoms, and not to mention our massive exposure to what are called xenoestrogens or fake estrogens. So just by protecting us from estrogen, the polyphenols are important. But of course, the polyphenols have many, many, many more roles to play when it comes to keeping our bodies healthy. We talked last week about the lignans, which are found in flax, and the still beans, resveratrol being the classic example of a still bean. These are the two of the four classes of polyphenols, the lignans and the still beans, that we should all be getting in our diet. 
especially if we're concerned about PCOS or estrogenic disease, prostate disease in men, feminization in men. Today, I want to start talking about the third class of polyphenols. These are called the phenolic acids. So you got the lignans. Those are found in flax and other seeds, crunchy kinds of foods. By the way, you can make your own lignans in your digestive tract. Bacteria, when they chew up on fiber, will actually produce lignans that will protect us from estrogenic diseases. The third class of polyphenols is called the phenolic acids. These are found in next to next to the last class, which we'll talk about here probably later this week, the flavonoids. The phenolic acids, there's, a, there's more of them than any other uh, class of polyphenols. They're found in veggie, uh, most veggies, fruits, mushrooms, medicinal plants all have phenolic acids, and there's lots and lots of different phenolic acids that are found in nature. And in skincare, by the way, the skincare world is getting to love these uh, uh, phenolic acids. We'll talk about something later on called ferulic acid, which is found in a lot of skincare products these days especially with vitamin C. The phenolic acids have lots of biological activities. They're anti-cancer, they're anti-inflammatory, they're anti-oxidant, they're anti-atherogenic, meaning, meaning they keep cholesterol. Plaques, uh, they reduce the formation of cholesterol, cholesterol plaques, probably because they help improve the health of the vasculature, the blood vessels. There's other polyphenols, uh, I'm sorry, there are other uh, phenolic acids that have anti-diabetic properties. One of the great, delicious, and tasty sources of phenolic acids is honey, which is an incredibly nutritious natural food product used in all kinds of medicinal traditions throughout the world, noted for healing and for antibacterial properties, anti-inflammatory properties. Honey is super sweet. You can't just do spoons full, spoons full of honey, but it is also very, very nutritionally dense. Emerging evidence tells us that honey possesses anti-cancer properties. It protects us from heart disease. It, protects, it uh, supports the immune system, or at least regulates the immune system, and it's also an antioxidant. And all of these properties are largely due to the phenolic acids that are found in honey. Ancient Egyptians used honey as medicine. The Greeks used honey as medicine. They used it to treat stomach ulcers. They used it to treat wounds topically. Api therapy, A-P-I therapy, api is the uh, Greek prefix for bees, I believe. Api therapy, the medicinal use of honeybee products, has become a focus of attention for preventative medicine, for alternative medicine, for treating diseases, for overall health and well-being. Because of its sweetness, honey is often used as a sugar substitute, also its flavor. It's not just sweet as like sugar is sweet. It has a characteristic flavor that can be used for baking. And it's also a natural preservative that's found in a lot of manufactured foods. A lot of times, uh, uh, food products will contain honey as a, as a type of preservative. It can prevent oxidation reactions in foods, that is, browning of fruits and vegetables and of uh, grain products. From a chemical standpoint, honey is basically a concentrated solution of various, various types of sugars. And its composition, its total composition, is going to depend on the kind of plant that honeydew comes from. There's 300 different honeys, and all the different honeys come from different plants. There's, it's hard to say which honey is better or which honey is worse. They're all, probably, they're all probably got nutritional value, as long as it's raw. Honey goes through processing like most foods these days go through processing, and a lot of the nutritional value of honey is reduced by processing. So just because you see honey on the ingredient deck on your favorite candy bar, processed food, <laughs> processed nutritional bar, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the nutritional value out of that honey. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll continue talking honey, polyphenols, plant nutrients on our next Bright Side episode. We're coming back with your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Lifetime Gray's 100% grass-fed beef has the health benefits you seek. When compared to conventional beef, it offers good fats while virtually eliminating the bad. That's the result of cattle who never eat grain, ever. Rich in antioxidants, including vitamin E, C, beta-carotene, and CLA. No artificial hormones, antibiotics, or other drugs. For all our fresh, non-cooked products with only 100% grass-fed beef, go to MidasResources.com. Use voucher code GCN to get 30% off your order. MidasResources.com or find us on Facebook. 
Being self-reliant is about being prepared and to do what you need to have your own source of renewable energy. Portable Solar LLC offers the most powerful EMP-hardened solar system on the market that is transportable from place to place. And the best part, it's very affordable. Contact them at PortableSolarLLC.com or call for details at 972-575-8875. Soul Arc EMP hardened solar generator energy insurance for your family or business. Call Portable Solar LLC today or go to PortableSolarLLC.com to check out their patent-pending technology. Think about this. Your community's aging water infrastructure systems are very likely to be contaminated with heavy metals like lead, disinfection chemicals like ammonia, chlorine and chloramines, and pharmaceuticals like statins, pain meds, and antidepressants. And no, water treatment plants are not equipped to filter these pharmaceutical toxins out. Protect your family's water supply with a trusted Big Berkey water filter. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show Big Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria, and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market, the gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Join me, George Nori, in Joshua Tree, California, May 19th through the 22nd for the Contact in the Desert UFO Conference, a weekend of in-depth exploration into ancient aliens, human origins, crop circles, UFO sightings, and new evidence of ongoing contact. The conference will feature panels, lectures, films, workshops, and field work with leading experts, including me, Dr. Stephen Greer, Giorgio Sukalos, David Wilcock, Corey Good, Graham Hancock, Linda Moulton Howe, Jim Mars, Michael Tellinger, Eric Von Doniken, Doc Wallach, and many, many more of the biggest names in ufology. Joshua Tree Retreat Center offers the perfect place for sightings through the clear desert sky. Last year, hundreds saw several real craft up there as we reported on Coast to Coast. Tickets to Contact in the Desert are available at contactinthedesert.com. That's contactinthedesert.com or by calling 323-721-1743. That's 323-721-1743. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs has learned the importance of good fats for good health. Good fats are essential fatty acids, and they're called essential because they're necessary for good health. That's why he uses Ultimate EFAs from Longevity. Among the fats, the most powerful are two fats that are referred to as essential fatty acids. Now, nothing in the world of nutrition is more important than essential fatty fatty acids. The word essential means you better get it in your diet or you're in big trouble. Essential fatty acids are perhaps the most multifunctional and versatile of all the essential nutrients. Essential fatty acids are not just important for the heart. They're important for everything in the body. To get the essential fatty acids that are so important to your body, order Ultimate EFAs from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsidebend.com. That's brightsidebend.com. Order today. Are you happy washing your hands with harsh chemicals? Are you happy doing laundry with detergents? Are you happy paying high prices? Find your happiness with pure soap. These all-natural, earth-friendly, pure soaps are the very best you've ever used buy in bulk get a 12 36 or 48 month supply or get items individually and still save big you're getting soap products twice as good as what you're using now earth friendly and natural soaps your family deserves the best happiness is five star soap.com why not put your money up the drain for a change See them at 5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. Cal Bend Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils. See their full selection of soaps at 5starsoap.com. That's F-I-V-E starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thanks for being here, friends. 
844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. Got a few lines open for you. And if you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a minute, 844-236-6010. I'd like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and our longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Ultimate Essential Fatty Acids, the Healthy Star Pack are all up. And our website's criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and pharmacistben.com. And, of course, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team if you want to make a little money selling longevity products, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Right off the website for a one-time $25 fee, you can become a longevity distributor, get your products at the wholesale price, and uh, help spread the word. Head over to criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com for more information, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. From the journal Gastroenterology, the AGA, that is the American Gastroenterological Association, releases their best practice advice on long-term PPI use. PPIs are so-called proton pump inhibitors. These are drugs that are used to treat acid reflux disease, GERD, Nexium being the most popular of the PPIs. You know, in the last, since Nexium was released, I think in the early 2000, 2000 or 2001, it's made over $60 billion, $5 billion a year. It's always the top, in the top 10 prescription drugs because everybody's got GERD or heartburn or acid reflux. And the problem with these PPIs is people stay on them for life. Now the AGA is releasing their best practice advice on long-term PPI use. We've got t- uh, 10 suggestions, including don't take uh, probiotics when you're on PPIs. Don't routinely raise your intake of calcium and vitamin B12 and magnesium beyond, beyond the RDA, with the pathetically low RDA. Do you know people on PPIs are high risk for Alzheimer's disease, are high risk for bone disease, are high risk for kidney disease because they don't absorb their nutrients. When you take a drug that suppresses acid, and that's what these PPIs do, you don't absorb your nutrients. This this is ridiculous. And I know there's all kinds of ridiculous medications out there, but the stupidity of shutting down acid production because you've got heartburn, it's just unbelievable to me as a pharmacist that people would do this thing. Now, I understand if you have a little bit of heartburn every once in a while that you might want to take something. But if you have chronic GERD, chronic acid reflux, you got to figure out what that cause is. Not just stay on a PPI the rest of your life. And if you do stay on a PPI the rest of your life, don't be surprised when you have to deal with a, a disease state or something that's related to calcium deficiency or, or vitamin B12 deficiency. Also, vitamin B12 also requires acid. Mostly it's the minerals and vitamin B12 that require acid. And protein digestion. That's another thing. Oh, they can't figure out why people on long-term PPIs have SIBO, SIBO, S-I-B-O, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. It's a mystery. They can't figure this out. Well, I'll tell you why, because you're not digesting your food. Tell that to your doctor if he's mystified why you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which is a miserable condition that causes all kinds of digestive problems and just misery, bloating and gas and, and heartburn for that matter. You don't digest your protein. You got big chunks of protein coming into your intestine. You don't digest your sugars. You're not absorbing your minerals. You can't help but go into long-term problems if you stay on a PPI for long-term. And it doesn't matter with these best practice advice from the AGA. You're not supposed to be on a drug long-term. That's really the bottom line here, folks. We're not supposed to be on prescription medicine long-term, period. And any medical professional who thinks differently is a biochemical bonehead, and I'm sorry to say that. I hate being mean-spirited like that, but I don't mean to, I'm not being mean-spirited. I'm trying to help. Nobody should be on a prescription drug long-term, period. Short-term, if you need one for an emergency condition or to control some kind of state, disease state that's manifesting because of how we handled our business, our nutritional business for the most part, I can understand that. But if you're on a prescription drug now, your number one health goal should be to wean yourself off of it And the best way to do that is to get on a good nutritional supplement program and change the way you eat and just incorporate all the classic ways, all the classic things we need to do to stay healthy, including exercise, including relaxation, including deep breathing, including all the things we talk about here on the bright side. 
from the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, asthma drug helps patient with skin disorder. I wonder why that would be. Well, I'll tell you why that would be. Asthma is a skin disease on the inside, and a skin disease is asthma on the outside. It's the same thing. The body's immune system is reacting to something. So this drug, omalizumab, omalizumab, also known as Zolaire, Zolaire, they give it to people who have asthma, and they notice that their itching goes away, their skin reactions go away, their skin, rea their skin rashes go away. That's because when you suppress the immune system, all immune reactions stop, including the immune reactions on the skin. So you think that's a good thing. Maybe it sounds like a good thing, but it's not, because the immune system's important. You don't want to suppress your immune system. That's another boneheaded medical strategy. Suppressing the immune system. Your immune system is your defense system. If you have an attack in your country, would you suppress the, the defense department? Would you suppress the Air Force and the Army? It's the same idea. Suppressing the immune system may give you symptomatic relief, but in the long term, it is not going to help you. Once again, displaying, manifesting the idea that we talk about here on the Bright Side every day. If you are on a prescription drug, your number one long-term health challenge, health goal, should be to get yourself off of it. Not immediately, but wean yourself off of it by getting on a good nutritional supplement program, and we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to West Virginia and welcome Curtis to the bright side. Good morning, Curtis. Well, good morning. The best things ever happened, and I start listening to you through Rick Satellite Service. Oh. And you're coming in loud and clear, and I agree with everything you said this morning and all the time I've heard you talking. My immediate problem, which you don't have time to hear of all the medical problems, but my immediate problem is Wednesday I'll be taking my third shot of testosterone. Okay. My question is to you, well, first of all, I'm in the research of what caused it. I won't go into all that. You don't have time. But I'm on testosterone. Um, I've got the box right here in front of me. But I'm really concerned of all the ingredients in testosterone. And one of them is the sphericic acid. And the rest of them you know more about than I do. Okay, okay you're talking about the injection, the testosterone injection. Yeah, I'm giving my that because I couldn't afford the cream and I couldn't afford this other stuff. So I ended up getting the needle. And, buddy, let me tell you something. That testosterone has put me back on my feet. I believe it. I the last six months, I've been to the emergency room out of how many times from falls, lost of energy, okay. falling. I've been injured from falling, all because I won't be mentioning names or doctors. I wasn't being checked. For before. low testosterone, low T. Yeah, so I went to a urologist, and they found it. Now, there's one thing he didn't do, which I learned about in... In, in, in um, Suzanne Somer's book, I didn't get the ratio to testosterone and estrogen. He just told me my last test was down to 92. And I'm you were at 92 on your testosterone? Yeah, it's too. Okay, so you were way, way, you were way, way low, and that's that, that's significant for a couple of reasons. That means something's percolating in your body to keep your testosterone that low. Curtis, I got to take a break. I'm gonna finish up when we come back because that's a very important question. So don't go away, all right? And if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you too. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll return right after this. Don't go away. You've heard the phrase, you are what you eat? Not true. Actually, you are what you can absorb. So if the vitamins and supplements you now take are not being absorbed, what good are they? Introducing Protovite, proprietary liquid system that allows premium quality nutrients to positively affect the blood in an astonishing five minutes. Watch our amazing two-minute live blood cell video at TrueHealthFacts.com. That's TrueHealthFacts.com. Then call 502-410-3411. Protovite is nutrition you can feel. Protovite is nutrition that gets in. Have you racked up more than $10,000 in credit card debt? Are you barely getting by, making minimum payments? You should know. The credit card companies are tricking you into thinking there's no way out. Credit card companies would rather you didn't know that there are ways you can become debt-free and you don't have to pay the entire amount you owe. There are debt relief programs that help people like you escape overwhelming credit card debt. National Debt Relief has helped tens of thousands of people just like you reduce more than $500 million of debt. National Debt Relief has helped so many people, they're A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. You don't have to declare bankruptcy or take out a consolidation loan. You have the right to settle your debt for a mere fraction of what you owe. 
all. Reduce a large portion of your debt now. Call National Debt Relief at 800-314-7417. 800-314-7417. That's 800-314-7417. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I'm here to tell you about GCNTelecare.com, a team of board-certified doctors assisting you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Within 15 minutes of registration, care your family can afford. Revolutionizing the healthcare industry, virtual consulting, providing diagnosis of non-emergency medical issues by phone or secure video on computer or smart mobile devices. GCNTelecare.com. Virtual care anywhere. Be prepared for the next disaster with the Shelter Pod. The Shelter Pod is a large, all season, heavy duty, quick deploy shelter. The Shelter Pod system can be set up in 30 seconds and includes an emergency medical kit, water filter, survival tools, and more. Are you prepared to take care of your family? Do you have everything in one place ready to go? Get it now or enter to win a complete Shelter Pod system at shelterpod.com. The Shelter Pod at shelterpod.com. Shelter when you need it most. It's been said, any society is only three missed meals away from chaos. Those times may be near. Think about it. Our country faces multiple terrorist threats and aggressions from Russia and North Korea. Social unrest and violent marches yet again may lead to looting of stores and city shutdowns. And our crumbling infrastructure leaves our power grid vulnerable to long-term outages from a single cyber attack. When the chaos from any one of these threats arises, the government knows it can't provide during a widespread national emergency. That's why you need your own plan for self-reliance. That's where My Patriot Supply comes in. Get a four-week survival food supply for only $99. That includes breakfast, lunches, and dinners. Order online at preparewithgcn.com. 99 bucks for four weeks of survival food that tastes like homemade cooking and lasts up to 25 years from My Patriot Supply. Get your kits today at preparewithgcn.com. Free shipping is included. Preparewithgcn.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Curtis in West Virginia about testosterone injections. So here's the dealio, Curtis. You know, first of all, it's too bad that, you know, you can't buy the testosterone cream, which is much easier on your system than the injection, uh, because testosterone is really cheap, really cheap stuff. And for, you know, I got I to gotta talk to our compound, my compounding pharmacist friends out there to sell that stuff for, for exorbitant prices to the point where people can't afford it. You know, insurance doesn't typically pay for compounded products. It's just not fair. Testosterone is cheap, 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 cheap stuff. It costs pennies. It should not be expensive. And, and I'm sorry you have to do the injections because, like you say, Curtis, you don't know what's in the, in the solution. When you inject something into your, uh, into your, uh, past your skin you're, or through your skin, you're bypassing your body's major protection or one of the body's major protections, which is the liver. It's going right into your blood. Your liver doesn't get a chance to clear it out. So injecting things through the skin is really a problem, and especially considering the solution itself has excipients and fillers. It's not just testosterone, as you pointed out. It's got an ingredient deck on there. And we don't know what those ingredients are. I remember a friend of mine telling me that uh, he worked for an oil co- uh, a vegetable oil company. He was telling me that there were vaccine companies that were using rancid oils in their vaccines, and they didn't even think about it. They were buying rancid oils as excipients, uh, and they didn't even think about the rancidity of the oil that was going directly into the blood. So you got to be very careful when you're injecting stuff into the blood. And keep in mind, vaccines and, and, and drug solutions like testosterone, they have to be put in a vehicle. You're not getting straight testosterone. You're getting testosterone soup. 
And it's the soup that's the problem, as much as the testosterone. It may be the testosterone's a problem, too, but it's the excipients in the vehicle, the soup, that's going right into your blood, directly into the blood, bypassing the body's major detox system in the liver. So what was your question, Curtis? Because I'll talk a little bit about testosterone here if you, if you don't have a specific question. Did you have something specific? Well, here's the good news. I can yeah. work like a horse now. I got my balance back. I'm more clear-minded. But I'm really, really concerned about those ferritic acid because I looked it all up. I've done my research. Well, spell that. I'm not really hearing what you're saying. Spell that name. Spell it for me. Steric acid, are you saying? A-S-T-A-R-E-I-C. A steric acid. Yeah. Okay, well, I, to, uh, that sounds like a fatty acid to me, but I'm not, I'm not familiar with what that is. Let me, let me check that out here real quick. A steric acid. It's an amino acid. You no, it's not, it doesn't sound like an amino. Maybe I'm not, I'm not hearing you right. Spell it one more time for me. A? A-S-T-A-R-T-I-C. Oh, aspartic acid. Aspartic acid. Oh, aspartic acid. Yes, that's an amino acid. You're right. Okay, I now I understand what you're saying. Aspartic acid is an amino acid. That's the least of your concerns. The testosterone is way more powerful than the aspartic acid. It's the least of your concerns. It's not great because it's, well, it's the least of your concerns. We'll put it that way. Here's the thing about it, and I've I got to take a few more calls. I hate to cut you off your curse, but I'm going to take okay. a couple more calls. Here's the thing about uh, uh, hormone therapy that's the problem. If your body's not making hormones, there's a reason for it. And right. if you try to jack up your hormone levels exogenously, by taking a drug or by injecting or by using a cream, you're compelling your body to do something it doesn't want to do. Now, in the short run, you're going to feel better. And you're absolutely correct. Testosterone is a major happy hormone. It's a growth substance. It builds things. But the problem is, is all the reasons why your testosterone were dropping have not been addressed. And the main reason is sugar and fat. By fat, I mean body fat. So if you don't address your blood sugar issues, you don't address your body fat and also probably nutritional deficiencies and you just jack up your hormone levels, you may get benefits in the short run, but you're not solving the problem in the long run. And this is why there's uh, increased risk for things like cardiovascular problems, cancer even, uh, on when people are on HRT, on hormone replacement therapy. You're compelling the body to do something it doesn't want to do. And in the short run, you're going to get benefits, but if you don't correct the problem, it could come back to bite you in the long run. Make sure you're using zinc. Zinc not only is important for helping make testosterone, it's important for helping the body clear testosterone, eliminate oh. It. Uh, I would be using some DHEA. Ask your doctor about that. Uh, DHEA supplements, uh, maybe 10 milligrams a day, 50 milligrams a day on the zinc. Please pay attention to your blood sugar. Use blood sugar stabilizing nutrients. Avoid like the plague foods that spike your blood sugar. Anything, sugar, uh, sweets and fruits and fruit juices and bread and pasta should be avoided. And that alone will make a difference. You may be able to use less, uh, inject less testosterone. And then also uh, another uh, imp uh, important strategy is to lose body fat. And you can do that. The main way to do that, the best way to do that is get yourself in the gym because not only will that help you lose body fat, which is where estrogen is produced, it'll also help you build muscle and that will help you make your own testosterone. So resistance training is extremely important. I got to motivate Curtis. I got a lot of calls here I want to get to. Can Thank I, you. Can I ask something real quick? Would that be yes, something sir. that affected your pituitary gland? In your hypothalamus gland, would you know what that controls? Absolutely. Absolutely well, it will affect you. I'm Absolutely told, it will. I'm my doctor in the emergency room what caused it. I can't tell you on the air, but I'm going to try to get a phone number. I can contact you. Send me an email. Phone. Send an email to Ben at KSCO.com. Put your phone number in there. I'll get back to you personally. All right, don't forget the healthy start pack and the essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs. It's, there's so many, so many strategies. Ultimate EFAs, healthy start pack, selenium is important. Curtis, I got to go, brother. Good to talk Thanks. to you, my man. All right, let's move on. I got a whole bunch of calls here. Let's move on to uh, Mike in uh, Louisiana. Hey, Mike, what's going on, buddy? Oh, L.A., California. I'm sorry. Mike? Do you got Mike? Hello. Hey, Mike. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good morning. I have a question. Yes. I, I never had a tooth pulled. I had a tooth pulled several weeks ago. It got infected when I bit down, you know, on the shell of a walnut in the dark. Anyways, it had had a root canal before. So I'm taking the Osteoflex and the Tangy Tangerine, and I'm taking Glucogel. Good and choice. And I'm doing EFA, Selenium, Ocean's Gold, and Niacin. And I'm taking some bone broth, okay? Good for you. Who's, who's giving you this advice? Somebody's giving you some good advice. There. Well, I, because of you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what the dentist did is he, would, he, would, he took my blood and he spent it for 18 minutes. 
and he put in, you know, when he stitched it up, he put in fibrinogen. But because I had had, you know, the inflammation several times, he told me I lost about 10% of the bone. So they put in human cadaver tissue, which... I'm always worried about what other supplements can I take to, you know, fill it up, and then I guess they're going to put in a post, you know, about protein. five months after. Make sure you're doing the pro oh, you're doing the bone broth protein. That's great. Vitamin C, high doses yeah. of vitamins. Oh, okay. uh, go get your go get yourself collagen supplements or cartilage supplements. You can get that at a health food store. Well, Aloe vera. Yeah. Okay. Aloe vera. Anything with polysaccharides in it. Seaweed will also help you. Hyaluronic acid, you know what that is? H Y A hyaluronic acid supplements. Go get liquid silica gel. What you're doing here is you're building connective tissue. This is your, what you're trying to do. Liquid and, and silica gel. Okay, now where, where do I get some good hyaluronic acid? Because anywhere. the molecules are so... That they'll absorb... Yeah, they're all the same. Look for low molecular weight if you can find it, but they're yeah, all the good. Yeah, they're like 1,500, I guess, or 2,000 yes, or whatever Yes, low molecular hell. weight, exactly. Uh, but there, it's pretty much generic. Uh, and then uh, did, I, did you say you're doing chicken soup, bone soup? If you aren't, do I, lots I bought of some bone broth from the health store, too, besides glucogel. Okay, good. It's best to make your own, though, but that's if you, you know, if you can't make your own, then that'll work as well. You want to be doing all the things we've been talking about for building connective tissue. Gelatin. Don't forget gelatin. That's also helpful. I should take uh, gelatin besides yes. the glucose gel? Yes, in addition to the glucogel. The glucogel yeah, has is some that gelatin. organic or not? Yeah, it's always best organic if you can find it. You can get it on Amazon. Organic gelatin. Gelatin. Yeah, oh, gelatin. Okay. And, then a, I, and then one more I, thing, well, a couple yeah. more things, actually. The amino acid glycine and the amino acid glutamine can help you. You can get, you can get those at health food stores. Extra glycine and glutamine? Correct. Okay, now, do I have to worry about, I don't know what they stick in there besides the fibrinogen, you know, the cadaver. Uh, it's in there already. <laughs> you know, don't worry about it because that's not going to do you any good. So it's in there. Uh, okay, you just so stay it, on a good. That eventually dissolves, right? My yes, bone it, in. it will eventually dissolve. Yeah, it should. That's the that's what they say. Oh, okay, anyway. I think you're a great guy, and I thank you. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Have a beautiful okay. day, Mike. All right, bye take bye. care. All right, Pamela in Michigan, you get the last word. What's going on? How you doing today? Ben, thank you again so much for everything you've done for me. You know, I was oh. for things going on with me, and I narrowed them down to two things left. So I, I'm just so appreciative of you. I do have Good a deal. wonderful friend that says he has stomach ulcers, okay. and I just wonder what um, you. Would a say. lot of things. First and foremost, bacteria. Good bacteria. Uh, uh, probiotics, essential night. Uh, 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 the uh, ultimate nightly essence. Make sure he's on the ultimate nightly essence. Maybe nine capsules a day. Fermented foods. Hydrogen, uh, uh, you can use hydrogen peroxide, actually, but I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say hydrochloric acid, betaine HCL. You can get betaine HCL or pepsin HCL at a health food store. The ultimate enzymes will help him, apple cider vinegar with all his meals, and also caloric restriction, keeping his calories down. Uh, the Fucoid Z will help. Anything slimy, things like uh, algaes and seaweed, and, and uh, uh, in addition to the Fucoid Z, uh, let's see what else I could tell you, hyaluronic acid. Acid, gooey substances, slimy substances, gelatin also can help uh, for, for um, H. pylori infections, which is usually associated with stomach ulcerations. Pamela, I gotta motivate. That's the end of the program. Thanks for your kind words and God bless you. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thanks for being here, friends. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. Got a few lines open for you, and if you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a minute, 844-236-6010. I'd like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and our Longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Ultimate Essential Fatty Acids, the Healthy Star Pack are all up. At our websites, criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and pharmacistben.com. And, of course, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team if you want to make a little money selling Ingevity products, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Right off the website for a one-time $25 fee, you can become a Ingevity distributor, get your products at the wholesale price, and uh, help spread the word. Head over to criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com for more information, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. From the journal Gastroenterology, the AGA, that is the American Gastroenterological Association, 
releases their best practice advice on long-term PPI use. PPIs are so-called proton pump inhibitors. These are drugs that are used to treat acid reflux disease, GERD, Nexium being the most popular of the PPIs. You know, in the last, since Nexium was released, I think in the early 2000, 2000 or 2001, it's made over $60 billion, $5 billion a year. It's always the top, in the top 10 prescription drugs because everybody's got GERD or heartburn or acid reflux. And the problem with these PPIs is people stay on them for life. Now the AGA is releasing their best practice advice on long-term PPI use. We've got t uh, 10 suggestions, including don't take uh, probiotics when you're on PPIs. Don't routinely raise your intake of calcium and vitamin B12 and magnesium beyond the RDA, the pathetically low RDA. Do you know people on PPIs are high risk for Alzheimer's disease, they're high risk for bone disease, they're high risk for kidney disease because they don't absorb their nutrients. When you take a drug that suppresses acid, and that's what these PPIs do, you don't absorb your nutrients. This, this is ridiculous. And I know there's all kinds of ridiculous medications out there, but the stupidity of shutting down acid production because you've got heartburn, it, 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 it's just unbelievable to me as a pharmacist that people would do this thing. Now, I understand if you have a little bit of heartburn every once in a while that you might want to take something. But if you have chronic GERD, chronic acid reflux, you got to figure out what that cause is. Not just stay on a PPI the rest of your life. And if you do stay on a PPI the rest of your life, don't be surprised when you have to deal with a, a disease state or something that's related to calcium deficiency or, or vitamin B12 deficiency. Also, vitamin B12 also requires acid. Mostly it's the minerals and vitamin B12 that require acid. And protein digestion. That's another thing. Oh, they can't figure out why people on long-term PPIs have SIBO, SIBO, S-I-B-O, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. It's a mystery. They can't figure this out. Well, I'll tell you why, because you're not digesting your food. Tell that to your doctor if he's mystified why you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which is a miserable condition that causes all kinds of digestive problems and just misery, bloating and gas and, and heartburn for that matter. You don't digest your protein. You got big chunks of protein coming into your intestine. You don't digest your sugars. You're not absorbing your minerals. You can't help but go into long-term problems if you stay on a PPI for long-term. And it doesn't matter with these best practice advice from the AGA. You're not supposed to be on a drug long-term. That's really the bottom line here, folks. We're not supposed to be on prescription medicine long-term, period. And any medical professional who thinks differently is a biochemical bonehead, and I'm sorry to say that. I hate being mean-spirited like that, but I don't mean to, I'm not being mean-spirited. I'm trying to help. Nobody should be on a prescription drug long-term, period. Short-term, if you need one for an emergency condition or to control some kind of state, disease state that's manifesting because of how we handled our business, our nutritional business for the most part, I can understand that. But if you're on a prescription drug now, your number one health goal should be to wean yourself off of it and the best way to do that is to get on a good nutritional supplement program and change the way you eat and just incorporate all the classic ways, all the classic things we need to do to stay healthy, including exercise, including relaxation, including deep breathing, including all the things we talk about here on the Bright Side. From the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, asthma drug helps patient with skin disorder. I wonder why that would be. Well, I'll tell you why that would be. Asthma is a skin disease on the inside. And a skin disease is asthma on the outside. It's the same thing. The body's immune system is reacting to something. So this drug, omalizumab, omalizumab, also known as Zolair, Zolair, they give it to people who have asthma and they notice that their itching goes away, their skin reactions go away, their skin, rea their skin rashes go away. That's because when you suppress the immune system, all immune reactions stop, including the immune reactions on the skin. So think that's a good thing. Maybe it sounds like a good thing, but it's not because the immune system's important. You don't want to suppress your immune system. That's another boneheaded medical strategy. Suppressing the immune system. Your immune system is your defense system. If you have an attack in your country, would you suppress the, the defense department? Would you suppress the Air Force and the Army? It's the same idea. Suppressing the immune system may give you symptomatic relief, but in the long term, it is not going to help you. Once again, displaying manifesting the idea that we talk about here on the bright side every day,
If you are on a prescription drug, your number one long-term health challenge, health goal, should be to get yourself off of it. Not immediately, but wean yourself off of it by getting on a good nutritional supplement program, and we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to West Virginia and welcome Curtis to the bright side. Good morning, Curtis. Well, good morning. The best things ever happened when I start listening to you through Rick's satellite service. Oh. And you're coming in loud and clear, and I agree with everything you said this morning and all the time I've heard you talking. My immediate problem, which you don't have time to hear of all the medical problems, but my immediate problem is Wednesday I'll be taking my third shot of testosterone. Okay. My question is to you. Well, first of all, I'm in the research of what caused it. I won't go into all that. You don't have time. But I'm on testosterone. Um, I've got the box right here in front of me. But I'm really concerned of all the ingredients in testosterone. And one of them is the sphericic acid. And the rest of them you know more about than I do. Okay, okay you're talking about the injection, the testosterone injection. Yeah, I'm giving my that because I couldn't afford the cream and I couldn't afford this other stuff. So I ended up getting a needle. And, buddy, let me tell you something. That testosterone has put me back on my feet. I believe it. I the last six months, I've been to the emergency room out of how many times from falls, loss of energy, okay. balance. I've been injured from falling, all because I won't be mentioning names or doctors. I wasn't being checked. For low testosterone, low T. Yeah, so I went to a urologist, and they found it. Now, there's one thing he didn't do, which I learned about in... In, in, in um, Suzanne Somer's book, I didn't get the ratio to testosterone and estrogen. He just told me my last test was down to 92. And I'm you were at 92 on your testosterone? Yeah, it's too. Okay, so you were way, way, you were way, way low, and that's that, that's significant for a couple of reasons. That means something's percolating in your body to keep your testosterone that low. Curtis, I got to take a break. I'm gonna finish up when we come back because that's a very important question. So don't go away, all right? And if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you too. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll return right after this. Don't go away. Six sixty ten is our number. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Curtis in West Virginia about testosterone injections. So here's the dealio, Curtis. You know, first of all, it's too bad that you know you can't buy the testosterone cream, which is much easier on your system than the injection, uh, because testosterone is really cheap, really cheap stuff. And for you know, I gotta I gotta talk to our compound my compounding pharmacist friends out there to sell that stuff for for exorbitant prices to the point where people can't afford it. You know, insurance doesn't typically pay for compounded products. It's just not fair. Testosterone is cheap, 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 cheap stuff. It costs pennies. It should not be expensive. And, and I'm sorry you have to do the injections because, like you say, Curtis, you don't know what's in the in the solution. When you inject something into your uh, into your, uh, past your skin you're, or through your skin, you're bypassing your body's major protection or uh, one of the body's major protections, which is the liver. It's going right into your blood. Your liver doesn't get a chance to clear it out. So injecting things through the skin is really a problem, and especially considering the solution itself has excipients and fillers. It's not just testosterone, as you pointed out. It's got an ingredient deck on there. And we don't know what those ingredients are. I remember a friend of mine telling me that uh, he worked for an oil co uh, a vegetable oil company. He was telling me that there were vaccine companies that were using rancid oils in their vaccines, and they didn't even think about it. They were buying rancid oils as excipients, uh, and they didn't even think about the rancidity of the oil that was going directly into the blood. So you got to be very careful when you're injecting stuff into the blood. And keep in mind, vaccines and, and, and drug solutions like testosterone, they have to be put in a vehicle. You're not getting straight testosterone. You're getting testosterone soup. And it's the soup that's the problem as much as the testosterone. It may be the testosterone's a problem, too. But it's the excipients in the vehicle, the soup, that's going right into your blood, directly into the blood, bypassing the body's major detox system in the liver. So what was your question, Curtis? Because I'll talk a little bit about testosterone here if you, if you don't have a specific question. Did you have something specific? Now, well, here's the good news. I can yeah. work like a horse now. I got my balance back. I'm more clear-minded. 
But I really, really concerned about the aspartic acid because I looked it all up. I've done my research. Well, well spell that. I'm not really hearing what you're saying. Spell that name. Spell it for me. Steric acid, are you saying? A S T A R E I C. A steric acid. Yeah. Okay, well, I, to, uh, that sounds like a fatty acid to me, but I'm not, I'm not familiar with what that is. Let me, let me check that out here real quick. A steric acid. It's an amino acid. You're no, it's not, it doesn't sound like an amino. Maybe I'm not, I'm not hearing you right. Spell it one more time for me. A? A-S-T-A-R-T-I-C. Oh, aspartic acid. Aspartic acid. Oh, aspartic acid. Yes, that's an amino acid. You're right. Okay, I now understand what you're saying. Aspartic acid is an amino acid. That's the least of your concerns. The testosterone is way more powerful than the aspartic acid. It's the least of your concerns. It's not great because it's, well, it's the least of your concerns. We'll put it that way. Here's the thing about it, and I've I got to take a few more calls. I hate to cut you off your curse, but I'm going to take okay. a couple more calls. Here's the thing about uh, uh, hormone therapy that's the problem. If your body's not making hormones, there's a reason for it. And right. if you try to jack up your hormone levels exogenously, by taking a drug or by injecting or by using a cream, you're compelling your body to do something it doesn't want to do. Now, in the short run, you're going to feel better, and you're absolutely correct. Testosterone is a major happy hormone. It's a growth substance. It builds things. But the problem is, is all the reasons why your testosterone were dropping have not been addressed. And the main reason is sugar and fat. By fat, I mean body fat. So if you don't address your blood sugar issues, you don't address your body fat, and also probably nutritional deficiencies, and you just jack up your hormone levels, you may get benefits in the short run, but you're not solving the problem in the long run. And this is why there's uh, increased risk for things like cardiovascular problems, cancer even, uh, on when people are on HRT, on hormone replacement therapy. You're compelling the body to do something it doesn't want to do. And in the short run, you're going to get benefits, but if you don't correct the problem, it could come back to bite you in the long run. Make sure you're using zinc. Zinc not only is important for helping make testosterone, it's important for helping the body clear testosterone, eliminate it. Uh, I would be using some DHEA. Ask your doctor about that. Uh, DHEA supplements, uh, maybe 10 milligrams a day, 50 milligrams a day on the zinc. Please pay attention to your blood sugar. Use blood sugar stabilizing nutrients. Avoid like the plague foods that spike your blood sugar. Anything. Sugar, uh, sweets and fruits and fruit juices and bread and pasta should be avoided and that alone will make a difference. You may be able to use less, uh, inject less testosterone. And then also uh, another uh, important important strategy is to lose body fat and you can do that the main way to do that the best way to do that is get yourself in the gym because not only will that help you lose body fat which is where estrogen is produced it will also help you build muscle and that will help you make your own testosterone so resistance training is extremely important i got to motivate have, curtis i got a lot of calls here i want to get to can thank I, you can I ask something real quick would that be yes, something sir. that affected your pituitary gland in your hypothalamus gland, oh. would you know what that controls? Absolutely. Absolutely well, it will affect you. I'm Absolutely told, it will. I'm my doctor in the emergency room what caused it. I can't tell you on the air, but I'm going to try to get a phone number. I can contact you. Send me an email. Phone. Send an email to ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there. I'll get back to you personally. All right, don't forget the healthy start pack and the essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs. It's, there's so many, so many strategies. Ultimate EFAs, healthy start pack, selenium is important. Curtis, I got to go, brother. Good to talk Thanks. to you, my man. All right, let's move on. Got a whole bunch of calls here. Let's move on to uh, Mike in uh, Louisiana. Hey, Mike, what's going on, buddy? Oh, L.A., California. I'm sorry. Mike? Do you got Mike? Hello. Hey, Mike. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing I want good. To ask good morning. You a question. Yes. I, I never had a tooth pulled. I had a tooth pulled several weeks ago. It got infected when I bit down, you know, on the shell of a walnut in the dark. Anyways, it had had a root canal before. So I'm taking the Osteoflex and the Tangerine, and I'm taking Glucogel. Good and choice. I'm doing EFA, Selenium, Ocean's Gold, and Niacin. And I'm taking some bone broth, okay? Good for you. Who's, who's giving you this advice? Somebody's giving you some good advice. There. Well, I, because of you. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, okay. So what the dentist did is he, would, he, would, he took my blood and he spent it for 18 minutes. And he put in, you know, when he stitched it up, he put in fibrinogen. But because I had had, you know, the inflammation several times, he told me I lost about 10% of the bone. So they put in human cadaver tissue, which... I'm always worried about. What other supplements can I take to, you know, fill it up? And then I guess they're going to put in a post, you know, about protein. five months after. Make sure you're doing the, pro oh, you're doing the bone broth protein. That's great. Vitamin C. High doses yeah. of vitamins. Oh, uh, okay. Go get your, 
Go get yourself collagen supplements or cartilage supplements. You can get that at a health food store. Well, Aloe vera. Yeah. Okay. Aloe vera. Anything with polysaccharides in it. Seaweed will also uh-huh. help you. Hyaluronic acid. Do you know what that is? H-Y-A. Yeah. Hyaluronic acid supplements. Go get liquid silica gel. What you're doing here is you're building connective tissue. This is your, what you're trying to do. Liquid and, and silica gel. Okay, now where, where do I get some good hyaluronic acid? Because anywhere. Because the molecules are so... That they'll absorb... Yeah, they're all the same. Look for low molecular weight if you can find it, but they're yeah, all the good. Yeah, that are like 1,500, I guess, or 2,000 yes, or whatever Yes, low molecular hell. weight, exactly. Uh, but there, it's pretty much generic. Uh, and then uh, did, I, did you say you're doing chicken soup, bone soup? If you aren't, do I, lots I bought of- some bone broth from the health store, too, besides glucogel. Okay, good. It's best to make your own, though, but that's if you, you know, if you can't make your own, then that'll work as well. You want to be doing all the things we've been talking about for building connective tissue. Gelatin. Don't forget gelatin. That's also helpful. I should take uh, gelatin besides yes. the glucose gel? Yes, in addition to the glucogel. The glucogel has some gelatin. Is that organic or not? Yeah, it's always best organic if you can find it. You can get it on Amazon. Organic gelatin. Gelatin. Yeah, oh, gelatin. Okay. And, then a, I, and then one more I, thing, a couple yeah. more things, actually. The amino acid glycine and the amino acid glutamine can help you. You can get, you can get those at health food stores. Extra glycine and glutamine? Correct. Okay, now, do I have to worry about, I don't know what they stick in there besides the fibrinogen, you know, the cadaver uh, tissue. It's in there already. <laughs> you know, don't worry about it because that's not going to do you any good. So it's in there. Uh, okay, just so stay it, on a good. That eventually dissolves, right? My yes, it, in. it will eventually dissolve. Yeah, it should. That's the. That's what they say. Oh, okay, anyway. I think you're a great guy, and I thank you. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Have a beautiful okay. day, Mike. All right, Bye-bye. take care. All right, Pamela, Michigan. You get the last word. What's going on? How you doing today? Ben, thank you again so much for everything you've done for me. You know, I was oh. thinking for things going on with me, and I narrowed them down to two things left. So I, I'm just so appreciative of you. I do have Good a deal. wonderful friend that says he has stomach ulcers, okay. and I just wonder what um, you. Would a suggest. lot of things. First and foremost, bacteria. Good bacteria. Uh, uh, probiotics. Essential night. Uh, uh, the uh, ultimate nightly essence. Make sure he's on the ultimate nightly essence. Maybe nine capsules a day. Fermented foods. Hydrogen, uh, uh, you can use hydrogen peroxide, actually, but I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say hydrochloric acid, betaine HCL. You can get betaine HCL or pepsin HCL at a health food store. The ultimate enzymes will help him, apple cider vinegar with all his meals, and also caloric restriction, keeping his calories down. Uh, the Fucoid Z will help. Anything slimy, things like uh, algaes and seaweed, and, and uh, uh, in addition to the Fucoid Z, uh, let's see what else I could tell you, hyaluronic acid gooey substances, slimy substances, gelatin also can help uh, for, for um, H. pylori infections, which is usually associated with stomach ulcerations. Pamela, I gotta motivate. That's the end of the program. Thanks for your kind words, and God bless you.